Hey y'all, welcome back. We are gonna get ready together today and it's a lot of fun. We're talking a little bit about quarantine and how we're doing as well as different brands that I'm really interested in and maybe some that I'm not so much interested in and really talking about homeschooling, it's over. And then also kind of talking about my YouTube channel, starting up a YouTube channel. So I hope it's fun for y'all. It was so much fun for me just to chit chat, talk about all the things as well as put on my makeup. I, I just love, it's so therapeutic just to sit down, put on my makeup, and just have a little chat. So that's what we're going to do today. But before so, I want to thank you so much for being here. I want to invite you to subscribe below as well as like and comment and yeah. Let's do it. All right, let's get into it. I'll put in a picture of the product that I'm using in case I forget to mention what I'm using <laughs> just because I know I'll be chit-chatting or whatnot and so sometimes I can forget to say what are you saying so I will definitely do that I am going in with my makeup forever reboot foundation I have two shades I have the shade Y315 and Y412 I like to mix these together and uh, just put it on my face <laughs> someone on Instagram was asking me how quarantine was going and over all it's okay I will say at first it was rough and I think it's just rough because you know you don't know what's going on you're kind of it was confusing because you're getting a lot of information from all these different places and you know it's just and it's a whole shift to what you're used to doing we're go 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 all the time never stay at home it was just a little different than what we were accustomed to a little well a lot different honestly and I am very social <laughs> I like to socialize and meet up with friends and people and stuff like that but we've kind of gotten in a little groove the school is done I was homeschooling my kids and fortunately that is done that was a little tough it's just hard it's a different dynamic than the kids are used to and I don't know I feel like they listen better and it's just a different environment and they're gonna listen more to a teacher than their mother trying to teach them because that's not what they're used to right overall it's it's going better now they started easing restrictions around where we live. I live in North Carolina. So for us, there are certain things that are open, but not a whole, whole lot yet. Yeah, overall it's okay. I mean, it's not ideal by all means, but we're safe and healthy and that's all that matters. Okay, that covered up this little spot pretty well. I am actually gonna go in with a little bit more of the foundation and mix it together and pinpoint and get a little bit of concealer and just kind of well, it's foundation, but I'm concealing it with the foundation just so it blends and gives a little bit more coverage. That looks, that actually did an amazing job. Oh my gosh. I don't use a lot of concealer. I have concealer that I try to use sometimes and I like to try them out. I like to brighten my under eyes, and which I'll do today. I'm gonna use the Hydra Sealer by Tarte. This is a newbie to me, so I'm just starting to use it. This is in the shade Light Medium Neutral. And I'm just throwing that in her eyes. So yeah, homeschooling is done. This was the last week and I'm so glad. <laughs> it was hard. I, I, I won't lie, it was hard. Okay, I went ahead and did this brow here, but I'm using my Gucci Beauty. This is the eyebrow pencil. Mine's in Chitain, Chitain. And I'm just filling this eyebrow in here. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I've really tried to get into filming more videos for you guys and trying to get videos up. It's been fun. I've really enjoyed just practicing in front of the camera more, getting to know y'all better. It's funny because starting out as a YouTuber, I just like had no idea how much work is involved in actually doing this. It's fun. It's so much fun to learn. Oh my goodness, so much fun, but it is a lot of work and it is a learning curve. It does take a good bit of Googling and uh, trial and error and even now I can tell my videos are getting better and better and I'm excited for that. I'm excited to grow and continue to learn and learn and learn. It's been really neat to kind of see yourself 
get more comfortable in a lot of ways and I'm trying to learn more of the editing stuff. Curious to see what kind of videos you would like. For example, I'm thinking about doing this YouTube tag video, the eyeshadow tag one where you go through all your palettes and you say, okay, this is my least favorite one, most used one, oldest one kind of thing. So I thought that might be fun. I have some stuff in the works for skincare, like a morning skincare routine, an evening skincare routine, and also hair some of y'all were asking about hair and I've actually it's funny that y'all are asking because I've my hair has grown so much I have not had my hair cut y'all since the beginning of December and I was actually supposed to go before all this kind of happened it just didn't I wasn't able to go which is fine it's totally fine so now my hair is super long I'm using the veil hourglass eye primer I'm liking so it's just taking me some getting used to because it's heavier and so I need something with a bit more hold. It has curls and it's wavy. I'm using this Pat McGrath. This is her Divine Rose palette. My hair. I am definitely going to do a hair tutorial soon. How I curl my hair naturally. How it, how I fix it naturally. I don't really curl it myself. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in and do a straighten video, uh, how I straighten it video. I do have a how I curl it video on my Instagram. It's kind of like a just a quick how I curl my hair with a T3, which I love to curl my own hair. I know that sounds so crazy, right? I have cur naturally curly hair and I love to straighten it and curl it. It's a different look and it's fun and it takes so long to do. That I don't do it that often and so for me it's exciting. It's just so much fun. I have all those videos planned but yeah it's it's taken me a little bit longer to kind of get those together. I just really started with these two shades. I went in with this one in the crease and then went in with that one all over the lid and this is what it turned out like and then I'm just gonna pop some of this right here. Ooh, yes so that shade was right here that one there. Curling my lashes. Curling my lashes here. Oh, speaking of Tarte, I did that video with this bronzer, my full review of this particular bronzer here. It's their uh, Breezy Cream Bronzer. Uh, spoiler alert, it's really good. <laughs> but I did a whole review. I'll put it up in the eye and uh, down below so that you guys can go check it out if you'd like. I mentioned that Tarte is a brand that I really haven't been into that much. And I was thinking about all the other brands that there are that I really haven't been into that much. It's very interesting. Urban Decay's one. A lot of the brands that Ulta carries in a lot of ways, I don't know why. I used to really, really enjoy a lot of these brands and I'm just not that into some of the brands anymore. When I was talking about Tarte, I was thinking maybe it's because I've almost grown out of that particular demographic that they're trying to serve in a lot of ways. I mean, I'm 35, so I don't know if that might be it. Or is it just because maybe their new releases haven't interested me that much. I'm not quite sure. It's kind of one of those hit or miss things with, you know, Tarte and Urban Decay. Honestly, NARS has been like that. I don't feel like necessarily they're catering to a younger demographic. I just feel like they're re-releasing the same stuff over and over again in different packaging. And for me, that's kind of like, I don't know. I don't kind of been there, tried that. Like, let's be innovative, right? Then I was thinking to myself, well, what are the brands that I'm really excited about? I am interested in more of, sorry, I could not do my lip liner and speak at the same time. I'm interested in Dior and Chanel and even like Tower 28 Beauty. There's just some really, in Shantikai, I think there's some really innovate, like innovative items in those particular types of brands. I just, I really think that there's some really cool things that are more innovative in a lot of ways. I don't know, what are your thoughts? What, what do y'all think about that? These are just my opinions. I welcome your thoughts and what you guys are thinking about all the different types of brands and things like that. I'm curious to hear what you think. I'm interested in a little bit more from Milani. I think Milani has some great drugstore options. I think that, for example, this nude lip liner, the color statement lip liner, my best friend was asking me yesterday, she goes, what is that one lip liner that you always pick up? And I'm like, it's Milani and it's $4.99 from the drugstore. <laughs> like, it's really cool. So I'm interested in a lot of Revlon stuff. I think they have some really cool things that have come out recently. Just in general like there are just some brands that I tend to gravitate more than others and it's not that I don't like the brand it's just 
some of their things are just not interesting to me right now. I used this Emotion shade by Shantikai. Just to let you know, I did just post a video review of this particular shade and the lipstick that came in a set. I'll link that also for you to be able to see if you'd like. I'm going in with this Tower 28 Beauty. This is a clear gloss. It's in the shade Chill putting that over. I use the Wayne Goss lip liner in mauve. So I use the Wayne Goss lip liner in mauve. Tried and true. Can't, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. This mascara by Chanel is by far my favorite. Can't. I, I just can't stop talking about it. I talk about it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go see me there. It's fun because I do a lot of this type of stuff on Instagram too. And I like to get ready for my videos on Instagram sometimes. So I think this is the final look. That foundation is so beautiful, y'all. I love this Reboot foundation. I think it just makes, makes the skin look so radiant. It's really, really pretty. All right, y'all. So... I hope you enjoyed this chit chat. It's fun kind of talking to you about YouTube and different things about the quarantine and how our family is doing and really talking about the brands that are interesting to me and maybe some that aren't right now. And yeah, I just thought it would be fun to kind of sit down and get ready and just have a fun time talking about it. If you'd like to, I invite you to subscribe below. If you're new here, I make beauty videos here on YouTube and I'm always always open to hear your thoughts about different types of video content etc yeah i hope you guys are having a great day and a great week and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all